Welcome back to NDS Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to fix GTA 5 crashing or crash on startup. Let's begin. Experiencing the crashes or issues when launching GTA 5 or Grand Theft Auto 5 can be very frustrating, right? But there are several troubleshooting steps you can take to try and resolve the problem. Alright, so I'm gonna give you some of the best comprehensive guide to help fix the issue and potentially solve the problem. Number one is ensure that your graphics card drivers are up to date. Of course, you need to visit the website of your graphics card manufacturer like AMD or Intel. In my case, I'm using NVIDIA, so I went here at the GE Force Experience. And as you can see, I have the ready files to download the latest drivers for my specific graphics card model if you don't have that option you might want to click on the check for updates right and then try to restart to see if that is working now the next step is if you are using steam as your platform you might want to verify the integrity of the game files right click on the grand theft auto 5 in your steam library select properties local files and verify integrity of game files now for other platforms you might want to use similar options to check for corrupted game files try to restart and relaunch the program to see if that works okay now try to run gta 5 as an administrator because from here you can just right click on the gta 5 shortcut or executable select run as administrator and from there you you might want to try to disable the full screen optimization for GTA 5. I need you to navigate to the GTA 5 installation folder. Right click on the GTA 5.xa file and select properties. Go to compatibility tab. Check the box for disable full screen or optimizations. Click apply and then click OK. And try to see if that works. Okay, the next step is you might want to update the DirectX and Visual C++ redistributable files because if you need to, you have to install the latest version of DirectX and ensure that you have the necessary Visual C++ redistributable packages installed because these can often be found on the Microsoft website, All right? Now, the next step is you might want to now you might want to check the system requirements for gta 5 if needed you need to lower the graphic settings within the game to see if the crash is related to performance issues set everything to the lowest settings and gradually increase them to find a stable configuration and of course you need to ensure that your system meets the minimum requirements to run gta 5 you need to pay particular attention to your cpu gpu ram and available disk space all i have to do is go here at the rockstar support and see the grand theft auto 5 pc system requirements now you might want to also check for overheating because monitor your system temperatures and use software like core temp to ensure that overheating is not causing the crash all i have to do is go here at the uh, core temp website download the latest version to see if that is not causing the crash issue for your gta 5. now the next step is i need you to open the cmd or command prompt as administrator and run the following command which is sfc slash scan now and press enter because this will scan and repair any corrupted system files that may be affecting gta 5 now the next option that you can do is try to reinstall gta 5 of course it is a last restore try to reinstall gta 5 to ensure that all game files are intact and not corrupted and of course and also a suggestion is please make sure that your antivirus software is not blocking the game you need to check for any specific error messages in event logs or crash reports because sometimes you know uh, a very stingy uh, antivirus can cause to block the game to not launch it or crash the uh the gta5 so you might want to check temporarily disable that to see if that works okay now if you still continue to experience these issues after trying all these steps you might want to consider reaching out to rockstar game support for further assistance and of course you need to provide them with detailed information about your system configuration and the steps you have already taken to troubleshoot the issue thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video